Greeting everyone. In this video we are going to learn about an important community in the world. They are one of the most marginalized and repressed communities of the world. Yunades are one of the major scheduled tribes of Andhra Pradesh. They are put under the category of scheduled tribes because the essential characteristics of these communities are primitive in nature, geographical isolation, distinct culture, shy of contact with community at large, and economically backwardness. Thurston noted that the people were natives of Sriharikota Island, where the current Indian Space Research Organization is located. He also suggested that they would have derived their name from the Sanskrit word Anadi denoting those whose origin is unknown. Now they are predominantly spread over three districts of Andhra Pradesh, mainly are concentrated in the Nellore district. There are many pre-Dravidian tribals in southern India among whom the Anadis are found living in utter poverty. With the invasion of the Dravidians they lost their identity, their language and got mixed with the people who subdued them, to such an extent that they forgot their special traits. Let us explore the brief timeline in history of the Yanadis. The social scientists suggested that the Yaanadis were living in Sriharikota Island. The recorded history of Sriharikota Island dates back to the period of Tamil Sangam literature. From these tribesmen, the island appears to have passed into the hands of Kola kings in the 11th century and it was under the sovereignty of the Kola kings till 1310. Then from the hands of Kola kings power went to the Mohammedan emperors. Later, it was passed on to the Vijayanagar dynasty. Subsequently, it was passed on to the Nawab of Karnatik who rented it to the early Zamindas of Venkatagiri. In the year 1835, in an auction, the British purchased it. In 1863, the island along with the other four islands was transferred to the Nellore district and were placed under a revenue inspector was posted. The 49 villages were recognized into 11 revenue villages. Ultimately, this revenue administration continued from 1863 till 1970. In 1970 it was formally handed over to the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. This has resulted in migration and loss of livelihood in the Yanadi tribes. After completing the brief history of the Yanadi's geographic history and timeline, let us understand more about them by continuing our documentary. Yanadis are broadly divided into four endogamous groups on the basis of occupations and dietary habits. The subdivisions are Manchi Yanadis or Red Yanadis, Chala Yanadis. Kapala Yanadis, Otavi Yanadis. The Reddy Yanadis are called because when the Reddy kings ruled over parts of Andhra, they employed these tribals as their trackers and bearers of arms when they went for hunting. Currently, they are mainly occupied profession of being a cultivator or a servant. The name Chola Yanadis was given because they were doing menial jobs. When they were used to do roles as scavengers they were given chola, buttermilk, as payment. Currently, they can be seen collecting left-out food from leaf plates in the dustbins. The Kapala Yanadis are mostly inland fishermen who hunt in ponds, streams and sell their catches nearby villages. At one point of time they were catching frogs, which were being exported to foreign countries. Currently, they can see in working in the nearby fisheries culture ponds or doing aqua farming. 
The Odaviyanadis are those who even now live in forests far away from human habitation. This classification varies district to district. Thank you for watching. In the coming future I hope to spread more knowledge about how Association for the Rural Development and its staff under the leadership Shri S.K. Bashir has taken the movement forward in uplifting the life of Yanadis.